Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Deepak here. Today I will explain you about Python if else condition. So here we will discuss about different aspects of if else condition. We will show you with one example of if and another example of if else. In addition to that, today I will show you one more IDE which I did not discuss in my previous session and that is beneficial for your system as well which will not took a lot of memory of your system because in earlier session I did some of the programming on cell script and I have already shown you about PYCharm application or PYCharm ID which will consume lots of your system memory. So, if you are facing any problem related to memory, you can use this online IDE which will help you to run or do your activity online. So, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with Python if else condition. So, Python if else condition is basically a decision making is anticipation of condition occurring while execution of the program and specifying actions taken according to the condition. Decision structures evaluate multiple expressions which produce true or false as outcome. We need to determine which action to make or take and which statement to execute if outcome is true and false, true or false otherwise. So, if you can see here, whenever we are inserting or insisting any input which will filter out with the condition and based on the condition if it meets or it, if the condition is true then it will execute conditional code and finally that will end the task. But what happens if that statement is false? So, it will directly jump to ending the activity or task and closing the statement. So this is the complete flow of its statement and here you can see the syntax if test exhibition then print the statement otherwise if fails then directly execute the statement. So let me show you by using example and show you the online ID which we can use it for python coding. There are several online IDEs available, but here I am using rep.it. So I will definitely mention the link in description tab. So don't worry about that. So the advantage of using this online ID, which will save your lots of memory and you can perform end-to-end -end coding of Python. So let's see by using one example and see how the result looks. So just like if I am declaring any variable which contains the value of 23 and second variable which contains the value is 1, 2, 3 then if condition will give you x is sorry y is greater than x and it will print a result that is whatever we are providing. So y is larger than x is the final statement. Let me print this and see how the result look like. So, as you can see here, after executing the code, we are able to see this command is printed. Let me do the cross check of this code. So, now x is greater and y is smaller value. So, let me run this and we are not able to see any value or any print statement is available. So, by this way, we can validate or cross check the result. 
In another term, we can also see that when the condition is false, it is directly executing and ending the activity. And once the execution or the statement is true, then it will move to the condition and provide the whatever value we are assigning or whatever activity we want to perform. Let's move to the second part, which is if else statement. So whenever we are talking about the if else statement, it evaluates strict expression and will execute the body of if only when the test condition is true. So as you can see here in the block diagram, when the condition is true, then only it is printing code inside else body. If condition is false, then it will print code inside f body and close the iteration. So if condition is false, the body will definitely execute the if condition. So this is the syntax. Let's see in the coding. So here we are continuing with the same example, but let me change some value. Here, to do two, and I'm giving here else, right? print x is bigger or value you can see that any statement is fine then y let me print this. Or we can change the street mean like this. Again, it's showing some. the result this is showing just because of the sum statement we have to be in the same proper format by you whenever we are using this online command so as you can see here when the value y is larger than x but here we have changed the statement let me run again. It will print definitely this one because value x is greater than y, not the vice versa. So by this way, we can perform if else condition and we, are, we can validate y as well. So just like when we are talking about any real time scenario, just like if we are discussing about student marks. So if I want to compare passing percentage of 7th standard, is greater than 8th standard that time we can use if condition and when we are comparing same result and which will print both the statement if condition meets then it will print the true condition if condition not made then it will print or show the user the false condition so if the passing percentage of 8th standard is greater than 7th uh, standard that time it will print the second statement. So this is the real time scenario. So let's recap this. We have started with if condition in Python. Then we, we saw the one example which is denoting one value is greater than second value. Then we move to the if else condition. And over here we check about the block diagram. Then the definition and finally we are ended with one example here in addition to do this we have also learned 
one online application which will save our memory space or application space for launching as well and in terms of memory as well. So this is all about Python if else condition. Hope you liked it. If you really enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Thank you for watching.